In the bathroom. Bird offs oh, herself fuck. to express her undying gratitude to you. Stop person. talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow. No. Today. You're part of the dead, don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. <laughs> Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. A cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here. That was her smoke case. She smokes some strange boutique brand. Well, that's Evie. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn? Who she really was? No. Nobody. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Well, you don't need to talk. You did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Her condition... couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So... Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Yeah, 
had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. A lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around those systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie, yeah. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties. But you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? 
About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. <laughs> this is a waste of our time. Come on, we'll get by without her. Jude, be sure to give me a call once you're done mourning and want to get back to reality. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. So that went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over clouds as if it was her idea. You might be onto something. Do you have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planning a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. You sure he's gonna be there? You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Station in Santa Domingo. The emergency landing attempt proved unsuccessful. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional losses. The company has already announced a forceful response against the nomads' camps. After the break, President Myers has released a statement on the flow of refugees from the Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. 
was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. The world did change, though. All the people he could have heard, they're all safe now. Think of that. They'll never even know they were in danger. to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, Shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better. I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. So then, what's the plan? Need to wait for Michael. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? It suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd. Given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. I got sick, maybe. Or hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes? Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. 
The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some cardio! Happy now. I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it, then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down. Disarm. Escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? V, get it together. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, 
usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But you... Bep, bep, Not a word. Ugh. Ah, uh, ah. V, everything okay? okay? V, v, you don't, you don't. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay, I'm better, I'm fine. What the hell, V? You like sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clip. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Oh shit, not good. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. All right, we going in? Let's do this. I get you. Still, I don't want those kids to. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. What then? Everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at Clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with Hiromi. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Okay, on my way. Elevator's on the other side. Be safe. You're here, finally. Was beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. She tries too hard. Can we get this over with? Why are there three guys? What's she playing at? That's our target, Hiromi Sato. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my face. I know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Maiko! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand?
Maiko, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I promised to help Judy, and here we are, thanks to her. But little Jude's cut from a different cloth than you and me. She's dreaming if she thinks she can have justice and peace in Night City without cuts, bruises, and blood. Do you think? Well, she is no Parker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. He murdered Oswald Forrest. And now he's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Am I to understand that this future manager Judy, stands before me now, focus. speaking with such zeal? She's screwing us! With your permission. Over my dead body, we were gonna Stop get rid of him! Am I to understand these as your conditions? V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Michael will take care of day-to-day -day operations at Clouds. She's best for the job. The dolls trust her. They follow her in a fire, as you can see. You know what always annoyed me about Hiromi? He had no vision. Call off this massacre. He is a man who will not scratch the end of his nose unless you tell him with which hand to do it. We have one last formality to fulfill. At midday tomorrow, I will present to you terms to which you will agree. Your engagement ends here. If ever you should require a stable employee, we are not difficult to find. I'll think about it. Thank you. Come with me, V. Thanks, V. First transfer from Cloud's new manager coming your way. Don't need your eddies. But you can have them. And have Judy wrapped around your neck. Keep them. Buy yourself something nice. The hell did you do, V? <clears throat> no time to talk now. Just get out of there. You're clear for the elevator. I'll be waiting by Jig Jig Street. You just stood there and watched her play us? At least you had the decency not to take her eddies. Changes this big need to come gradually. Revolution always sounds great in theory. The Night City's about wheeling and dealing. That's where you and I differ. For you, it's about profit. For me, it's about the people. First casualties of revolution? Revolutionaries. Bring anarchy to clouds and it'd go to shit. Everybody wind up on the street. Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Got carried away. I just This ain't how I imagined things panning out. But, guess I should get used to it, no matter what you do. 
Life's always gonna throw you a curveball. What's up with you? Your frustration, I get it. Don't take this personally, but I gotta cool down. I'm gonna go. Thanks for the help, V. Thank you again. Don't mention it. See you around, Judy. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grodd. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V. What's going on there? Him? After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp, while I cover you. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if Your we're... leader gets nabbed, and you... What? Hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure? But I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do 
you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building. There. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I'm like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So, that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... Is one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad in more than its look we have to move quickly okay let's go over the plan again you st we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop okay out I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight you just watch yourself down there There's a sniper perched in the tower. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams.
found Saul, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it in time. Right. I think I got eyes on him. Is he? Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do... do... do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. You're pretty badly beat. Probably can use this. Oh, yeah. So? How is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Mm -hmm. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. A useful things. The angle's left in our hurry. Bio hey, it worked! We have lights! Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. See what I see? Expiration day's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you hadn't mounted a raid of your own, well... <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea! We gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? More than you think, Saul. Used to work for Arasaka, so 
Seen plenty. Our Osaka's not Biotechnica. The difference is not in the ammo. That's always the same. You know what you are to them? Labor. To be exploited and ultimately consumed. Best case scenario. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. And? You forget what it's like. Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Sounds like we're smack in the middle of the storm. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? No. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams.
Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style. You gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Oh, wait. Hang on. I thought you were headed back to the Alicaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alde Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like... this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop the wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to- Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on. Put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Uh, 
So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But, are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice this thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Yes? What's up? Let's go. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need a hand? Of course, but in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. My, that was quick. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? Cards. What cards? All blood cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> you 
Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. No time like the present. Okay, go ahead. That was a joke. Listen, V, I believe I know where this is going. And not to your liking? No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. So far, so good, champ. Because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. We could still Get your check. ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading off. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another once over. The stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. I ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Gonna try and get.
get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. We better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. 
Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting, Mitch and Teddy. So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine work and order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. 
It's like a mystical oneness. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There! See? Okay. Just don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Okay. Practice is over. B, do you remember what I said about impulses? Mm-hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? I jacked in. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this?
each on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Shit! Did no, you I'm see serious. the Basilisk in action? We all owe you. It blasted them into the So you can count on all ah. the Caldas. No squirming. Always. Lie still, I need huh. to examine this. Good to know. They won't dare show their faces again. How many did we drop? Our lord. That's what I Nobody's know. behind the bar. They could have been low. That I like. That basilisk could come around sooner. Pan Am missing from camp at such a critical moment. She'll have some explaining to do. What is she? Beer? Do? Lemonade? Her? Hell. Beer me. Leave her alone. Are you about done? Moose has got a nasty ass gas, too. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro. Me? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay. Be relax. Take it bit by bit. 
What is happening exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Pan Am, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not. It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Construct's more like a cancer, growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally, we were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. Yeah. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really hey, are much better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh?
We shouldn't delay too long. I mean, I guess we could chat up the weather or debate where they serve the best ramen. All the same to me, but... <laughs> Fair enough. To business it is. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, they'll go scroll every ass you see. The stuff will all go. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse apps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could've. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Pretty. Prime, do it after the conference. Oh. 
tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly-ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Well, well, well. thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Ray Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. I'm running in Ryan's place now. Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Sheesh, Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Someone here to see you, looks like. Hmm. Wonder what about? Yes, Embers, it isn't. You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. 
I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl, anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyberpsycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush-hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in. Should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. So, who are we supposed to talk to? Cyberpsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Hey! You Christine Markov. We have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. Oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where'd he get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? Look, when you're talking about Peter, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. 
These uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, Corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. <sighs> Worked for normals, not so normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. An accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison. A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Uh, oh, great. Let me handle this, V. <laughs> Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here. And I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Rhine. Then wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? I think nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right. Wait here then. You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. No! Said I was done! I was out! Leave me the fuck alone! Oh. Fuck! Hey, Neil! Piss off! Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed, broke all my fingers.
wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Uh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Sure. Thanks. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. They're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Up to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Tell him you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that. Stairs inside. <laughs> Clever. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. Fucking starving! Oh, yeah, let's go there. Looks like an office. Sort of. What? Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it! Uh, we're fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done! Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the pay up! I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised, I get the intel I need. Half? For half, I can tell you how tall he is, but uh, that's sure. it! Half in your hand right now. Real scratch. Or the whole thing, someday, maybe. But probably never. Uh, uh, all right! Scratch! Now! Who told you to wreck the club? And why? Welding! Oh! Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fuckhead for the job! Thanks for the help.
Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. Uh, a club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know? Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. We're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just wanna know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know the game NC makes you play. I know the rules. All the tricks in the book. So you ought to know when to get in line. And when you can stick your neck out. Because you stick it out at the wrong time and there'll always be some shark ready to bite your head off. Gotta know which way the wind's blowing. Gotta know that before anyone else has realized there's a storm coming. V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. So, what now? Won't well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. Oldest, tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V.
So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. V? We're upstairs. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. We shouldn't it's delay too long. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. I think Weldon Holt was behind Ryan's death. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt. And up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hello, V. Uh, Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure, okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Um, bother us at doing what talking about the cornerstone of my platform. You'll know in a minute. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So, unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. 
SSI is pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? I couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. Security looking at this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V will turn something up. So, you've got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka... So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him... here? Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Bloodstains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Bullet holes. Cocked up. 
Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. What was that? No fucking clue. Felt kinda good, but... Weird. Like tripping on acid. Does that happen to the screen a lot? Or to any of the others? I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? You didn't see it? No? What? Okay, never mind. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy! Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Odd. Tech's practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. I wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second. We're about to find out.
Don't gonna lose him if you don't pick up the oh, pace. Now you're interested. We could expose a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what. and see a curated display, but behind the scenes it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralysis, look for weak spots, blackmail, rig elections. Shit. They're taking us into the port side. This can't end well, Johnny. Pierce that we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm-hmm. Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V, do you have any news? Okay, gonna want to sit down for this it's um it's way bigger than we thought what is you're being brainwashed literally they've scanned your minds now using some kind of conditioning to wait not on the hollow right i'll come by no you and i we need to speak alone i know a little ramen place in japantown sending you the coordinates right see you there Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Why are we meeting here and not at your pad? Because I have something to confess. In private. Not in front of Jeff. Okay. Confess away. I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? 
He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Hey, you there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you getting what you want? Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. Truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of... 
Overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the Paralysis' lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh, fuck. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. Strange as it may sound, don't got much. There's gotta be something. You didn't find any hard evidence? Sorry, it's all hearsay and speculation. Like what? SSI took money from all kinds of people. Holt among them. But it's a weak lead. Uh, too weak. Nothing that can help you, Jefferson. Damn! All right, I'll handle things from here. Meaning? First, I'm gonna win this damn election. Then, I'll find the motherfucker who spied on us. And if it was Holt... I'll find every last speck of dirt on him and bury him under the heap! Well then... Good luck. You'll get your fee soon. You already got my gratitude. Goodbye, V. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who or what. Our guy's outmatched. They can do whatever they want. He's fucked, V. Holding up. Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh huh. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2AA6244. We're exiting our vehicle now. Copy that. Out of the car! Hands up! Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth! Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054.
The boy from the footage is LeVar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, LeVar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports reveal the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS News for developments in the story. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy, disappeared not long past. And what you just saw, the kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagul took the lead on it. Lazy-ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. You got access to these dreams? Not yet, but they keep them in the lab we're headed to now. Got an appointment? Not exactly. We'll go in together, but, uh... Not through the main entrance. Oh, we're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? Look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River, why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yo! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here. And we have strict protocols. Protocols? I'm talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. 
Get out now! I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawan. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. Barely no River. We just work together. Do not believe any promise he makes. Good tip, thanks. But we're wasting time. Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. I'd like to... Try audiovisual stimulation. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try? Just... go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Oh, uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. More curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. Cops seem to like you. Careful this one doesn't start sending you out for donuts. What? No, River's all right. For a cop, you mean? Not every cop's a bastard. Just like not every rocker boy's a narcissistic dickhead. Don't know, V. You ever actually met a rocker boy who didn't fit that description? All in all, no. Okay. Let me hear it. Lost your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? Yeah, <laughs> that it do. It's just, uh... It's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft. Drugs. Running away from home. That kind. Coffungals really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Hmm. Great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house. And I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Want to see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. 
think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, then we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It'd be my pleasure. Alright, this is it. It's sure been a while. I used to come over every weekend, a long time ago. And? Changed it all since? Places like this never change. Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. Sovi, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Well, why didn't you call? Joss, I... Uh... Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell them it's time to eat. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time, he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk. Raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed. The father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Let's, um, change the subject. Hang in there, Joss. What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Uncle River! 
Monique, Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you at dinner. This is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Some kind of game here. Shipping code on it. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. And we gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Don't know how, River. Damn. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have? Punch this track title. Liberum Arbitrium. That did it. Help me have a look around. They caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. The one you found in his drawer? The same. Shipping code suggests the prick sent it from the Badlands. This guy baited Randy like a pro. River, do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No. There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? <sighs> Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. 
This file, V. Damn it. Might have been what we were looking for, and it's gone. Hey, look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Not that kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. It says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, eh. Come on. Let's grab a bite. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother, just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if V takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Find your way, all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. That dock of yours is quick. Not bad. Guess that'd be that. And where are you up to, Mike? Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. We break the gift. He was. Why is he doing? Rascal, you'll hurt a boy. Looks very aim. And where are you up to, Mike? Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it.
Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Uscrax towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farm's located near a landfill. We know that too. Shipping code on the game Randy got from Harris traces out to the Badlands. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So... We've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. If I'd only known sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick. Coming out of this wall. Should be a switch somewhere. Try disabling the defense system, then haul ass to the barn. River! Come here, quick! with your uncle. It's gonna be all right. He's here! Randy! He's hanging in there! We made it! V, shut down the machine! Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, relaying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it! Oh, and watch for automated defenses on site. They're substantial. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. V, help me with Randy.
did it, River. Yep, we sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. No, River. Want that fucker's blood on my hands, too. Appreciate your dedication, V. But this is between me and Harris. Gonna take him out in my own way. Amidst all this confusion. Sure you don't want to help? They'll catch you. No, they won't. I'm... No. That is, I was a detective, remember? I know how to cover my tracks. Just remember, say the word, I'm there. You can count on me. Need a little time to myself now. But I'll remember. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it. And holler if you change your mind. Or if you're just in the mood to holler. Finish this another time. Hey, Jude, what's up? Ha, uh, you know, same old. You? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. All right, then. Count me in. But I gotta warn you. I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh... Is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. I'll see you there. Hey, V. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, 
Let's go. Got the hardware here. All right. Suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on you. What is toxic? That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. You haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing. Trigger for emotion. Will be these are emotion in near pure form. Calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song. You give me the title. Read me. No idea what the song is. But I heard it. it goes something like... some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? 
Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. What was that? Those voices? Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Connie! You're dead meat anyway. What was it like, living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things, technical, taught me everything I know. And the stories he told, uh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. <laughs> Temperamental, huh? That explains a lot. Is that a dominant family trait? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. Still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. For anything in particular here? No. Can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Well, feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, oh, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. I want to see what's further on. Come on, then. I want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Where deadly life grinded along? Can imagine it a bit. I don't know how it 
as possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah! Closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Hey, found a way in. Through the roof. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. And I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. Passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end bad. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell... not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. I think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Feet I was picking up felt a bit... flat, I want to say.
Power's up. You go that way, city of so be careful. Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Michael's holding all of Clouds at gunpoint. Decides every little thing, apparently. But? No but. Talk to the dolls, they don't see any change. Everything's just like it was before. Got a feeling everything we did was wasted effort. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. Think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. Chick gets on my nerves. That's you and me, below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of all, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. City's chewed me up. And spitting me out. Since I've known you, Judy, all you've been is chaotic, unstable, and hot-headed. Positively burst into my life, you did. So I should have expected an ending just as abrupt. Like this. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, V. Give me your hand, V. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, V. It's really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. 
see no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see ya, Judy. Hey, how's it going? Over here! Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat? Um, soy meat? Okay. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. How's, uh, Randy holding up? He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And, uh, mentally? That was some experience. What Harris did to him. Fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure, no pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry. No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital, still in shock, but he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. It was all River. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy uh, had... Don't owe me a thing. Joss. Thank you. River's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. That's Maddie, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio.
Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You flatline him? I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How oh, my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll see. you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco in Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey, v, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Croonies! Take that! <laughs> Too slow! Too many donuts! Next not run, done next yet! Run. This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. 
Some last words? Fine. Out with it, scumbag. I want to see you squirm. No! Your last words! <laughs> oh, come on. Another ambush? Okay, so now... Lunch is ready. Mm, but, Mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best! Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. Ah, they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey, food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? I used to see family as baggage, something that'd hold me back, you know, career first. Didn't do any better for not having one, though. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes, life's gone off the rails sometimes, but I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of... Be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves Jambalaya. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself. <laughs> v. Are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay. Good. Ugh. Just push. Okay. Uh, seems easier to open from the... On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too.
apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Scrapers actually seem pretty majestic out here. Not seeing what goes on inside. Memories? High stress, dirty backstabs, kind of pressure that gives you ulcers. Somehow, I just don't miss it. Got something for you. <laughs> Your piece? Had her a long time. Too long. I think it's time she found a new owner. To know what to say. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong is sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. You got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> in the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now I gotta roll promise Joss I'd take her to see Randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need tell Randy hey we'll do see you later V Hey, Coral. Wow, you look like a million Eddies. Is that so? That is not how I feel. I ate what you call a Scott burger. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what'd you think? Tasty? Ask the people below. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade. But the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang! No more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. 
Is all this clear? Are you ready? I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All the while ignoring one crucial element. Your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. You're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So... So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Goro. to go. Then let us begin. You must reach old snipers before Hanako-sama's float appears. You are close. He's almost in front of you. He's watching the crowd, not his back. Oh no, what hit him? out ogre Adam fucking smasher guy who killed you right guy motherfuckers barely human but hey know what I'm glad he's here you're glad seeing as I woke up in a world without any Saburo I'll have to be satisfied with smasher you got to be satisfied you got fuck all to lose all right fine we your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Genwa don't look too stable. Sure Takamura didn't plan a little whoopsie-daisy for you? Fuck! Almost fell. Carefully, you must not draw attention. Told you so. Silence is not good. Under Sir Hyperch, scanning area. What did soldiers say? Target down. Good words to hear. You will find the door to a staircase. At the end of the room. It's the shortest route to the next sniper. He positioned himself high. Keep it posted. P, it is Ora again. Listen. We have to announce that public safety has been compromised. She must be extracted at once. Our saga is fully capable of protecting its principles. Ask your boss what he values more. The Arasaka image, or his sister's knife. The situation is in hand, over and out. Did you hear? They know something. Perhaps much. 
We must hurry. I shoot the patrol stuff from the bridge. Roger that. White jacket. That would be all. Yes, apparently. Well done. But problem remains. And that is... The Arasaka Netrider. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Near to the second sniper's nest. Okay, on my way. Oh shit, not good. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here! I want you. Watch the distance. Stay away from his plane. He will slice you like fish.
I... I managed to... Uda, is he dead? He's breathing. For now. Please be. Show him mercy. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. Okay, Prime. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter. なぜとまったんだ。危険だと警告されたの。小田とも連絡が取れないし、何か変だわ。パレードを中止すれば、弱さを露呈したと思われる。弱さ誰のあなたの俺たちだ。私が参加したのは、あくまでもお父様を追
but the tech on the chip saved me. And now, it's slowly killing me. One of your personality constructs, engrams. It's overriding my psyche. Gotta stop the process before it's too late. I know you got the means to help me. Hanako-sama, we is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word he speaks. If only you will help him with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. I got a bad feeling about this. Get the fuck out of here! Takamura! I can't leave him back there! Forget him, guy's toast! Unless you want to wind up like him. You later. Need to find a way out now. Fast. There are empty rooms to the right. It's our only chance. Different ways. Alone, we have a better chance. Really? Think so? Then go. Now. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck ups like us? ACs busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. <laughs> 
Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who yep. sleep. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See? Decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocked, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro... Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Saw him yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trick, V. For v. Don't touch that door. I know you're in there. Are you asleep? Time to wake up. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to hear, or will you let me in? I'm armed. Don't try anything. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that... blood? Yeah. Knocked the last star off this dump. So, you were saying... got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Hanako. That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Any word from Goro? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takemura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. I'm sorry. I know this must be difficult for you. Painful. So much so that I could not look the truth in the eye. What happens now? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. You're gonna help me first. Perhaps I did not speak clearly. We must act quickly. Well, I'm pretty tight on time, too. Dying, in fact. My dead body would make for a pretty lame-ass witness. I understand. Want to know everything you know about Mikoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs, digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure.
Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, I got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer. Using her modified version now. That should be more than useful. That's about the extent of what we've got. What now? Let us meet in person. At Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. Know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads barging here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this... It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. What's up? Got a few more words about the porcelain cunt. Fuck! <coughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Oh. Ah. Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in uh, Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. Yeah. Want to pop the pill? Cooler chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Organic food continues to be a major. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. Oh! You 
wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. Huh? Huh. Fifty years back. Mexican conflict. When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So... That the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <laughs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan till the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our... predicament. Wanna be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea? Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. So, I gotta tell Rogue... everything? Think I'd better do that. Handle it personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth, see if she's willing to help. Hey, Satan kicked me out of hell, thought I'd swing by. All I gotta do is mention Smasher, serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days, easy. Fine. I'll do this. For you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. The hotel pissed to Sophia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today.